Hey guys, we're here today at Hard Racing and we're actually going to be showing you today the Senna 20S Bluetooth um, communication system. It's basically a helmet uh, communication system, but you can really use it. There's a, lots of different options you can use it for. Um, but it's basically a headset, microphone, Bluetooth um, controller that lets you connect a whole bunch of stuff into your helmet comes with a ton of accessories we're going to go over all that now um, just briefly though we're going to go over the quick uh, production features basically what they claim um, this has got so basically they say the talk time's about 13 hours um, which is what we've gotten we've been using this now for a couple of years and we've sold a ton of them and everybody I, I don't think we've ever had one customer have one and not just love it. So it's definitely an awesome product. Um, it's, it's got great feedback. Um, we all love it, so we just wanted to do a video on it. So the features that they say, um, talk time of 13 hours, standby of 10 hours, meaning it's a, um, you're not using it. Uh, it's a Bluetooth 4.0, so it's one of the newest uh, technologies out there. It's got du dual Bluetooth communication system. It's got multi audio multitasking got multi-way intercom up to eight connections so you can have up to eight guys riding together and being able to talk to each other um, obviously you'd want to have a little bit of a control over that so that everybody's not talking at the same time but it's definitely a, a great thing to have a uh, group intercom where you can all hear each other at the same time the range is claimed about 1.2 miles um, it, that's obviously de totally dependent on where you're at if you're on open road with nothing in between you, you'll probably get that far. But generally, it's about three quarter or half a mile if you've got trees or you're in corners and stuff. But 99% of the time, it's plenty far enough to get um, communication while you're riding. Um, you got smartphone apps, so you can control it um, with your iPhone, um, which is really, really cool. Um, it's got really good uh, voice command which is a nice feature since you're on the bike, you don't have to fiddle with it. Uh, you have a built-in FM tuner, universal intercom. It's got some seriously good noise canceling control, HD quality sound, which we can attest is really good considering what uh, what this is. Uh, blue, Bluetooth uh, audio recording, uh, helmet clamp systems, firmware upgraded, which is really nice. So if you ever have, um, or if they ever come out with a new um, upgraded firmware, to make it work even better, you can easily plug that in, you're good to go. So right now we're showing 20S, and this is basically two kits. So you get two of everything that we're gonna go over. Um, two of the headset controllers, two mounts, two mics, two ears, I mean, you get a ton of stuff. That's in the dual kit. So this is what you would get if you wanted you and your buddy, you and your girl, your girl and your guy, Either way, but basically two people having two complete um, communication systems in their helmets. You can also get this in the one kit, the single, and that basically is if everyone else already has one and you just need one for yourself. So right now, today, we're going to go over the dual and show you what everything comes in it. If you were going to get the single, you would basically just get half of everything instead of two of everything. So that's the biggest difference is just the dual kit gives you two complete riders worth of stuff. And the single gives you one rider's worth of stuff. So you get, the, the, the cool thing about it is it's not just, here's just one set of headphones and one mic. You get a whole bunch of different options um, because it all depends on what kind of helmet you have and how you want to mount it up and how you want to install it. Uh, you can basically um, have it quickly, easily removable to swap between helmets. You can have more permanent mounts in the helmets. Um, you know, there's just, it's really limitless and it all is totally customizable to uh, your specific helmet, whether you had a flip-up lid, you know, the, the chin part that flips up, or whether you have an open face helmet or a closed face helmet, dirt bike helmet, whatever the case is, this thing is completely customizable um, to set it up the way you like it. So this is the unit here itself. And basically you've got this dial here that is your multifunction dial. It's normally you're going to be using that for volume. So you can see, with even with your gloves on, you can easily turn it, and that's what's really cool about it. This is your um, talk and answer button um, for your intercom. The antenna, um, honestly, if you're around town, close by, you don't even need it up. 
this is more if you're going uh, you know long rides and farther apart from each other if there's a lot of group of you you can flip it up but we find that just around town if you're scooting around and the other person's pretty close you don't even need to uh, have it up which is kind of nice so but it just pops right up really easy and so basically this is your connector port and you have the mount right here on your helmet and as you can see here we have the clamp set up here and it just basically just pinches on there with some screws nothing nothing permanent nothing goes in your helmet you can get some 3M double adhesive to make it even more secure if you need to um, but for us all we did was just uh, put the little pads on it and tighten it down it's good it's not going anywhere again this is all customizable on how your helmet setup design is you can just 3M stick it on the side you can clamp it it's totally up to you we have our mic running through here and as you can see it's right there in the front and we have the little windsock on it and honestly even at 50 60 70 miles an hour you almost can't even hear any wind noise it's it's incredible i mean it really the, the quality of this thing is amazing so we have our headphones right here and we basically pop the cheek pads out slid them back in there and then pop the cheek pads back in and those are the permanent headphones and they have all these uh, 3M Velcro, all these different kind of pads you can use. I mean, literally, there's just so much adjustability to tweak it the way you like it. Um, so the helmet's permanently wired, meaning, you know, it just stays in there. Again, you could set it up to where it's easy to pull out and switch between helmets, but for the most part, if you only have one helmet you usually use, then you're going to kind of more permanently set it up there. And when I say permanent... It can always be pulled out. It just takes a little more time. So you're gonna, if, if you want it for one helmet, then set up the permanent way where it goes into the cheek pads, and it's tucked up underneath the cloth, and less chance for things to flop out, and everything is just more secured. And basically, this is what we use like quick rides around town, run to the store, whatever. You can hear the sound well, but because you don't have the thing right on your ear. It's not as clear. So what we did, and this is extra. You can get these anywhere, Target, Walmart, you know, anybody sells them. They're real cheap. Um, but these go in your ear. And obviously, because they got the little rubber thing, they also isolate the noise out a lot better. So you hear on these, it's crystal clear. So if you're going to go for a ride, now some guys might use these all the time anyways. There's a lot of guys that ride their bike with earplugs in it. So just because their exhaust is too loud or whatever. You can still hear cars, you can still hear horns, you can still hear traffic, but it just dens out a lot of the noise. But this, if you use this in conjunction and plug it into there, it's going to be crystal clear. The music's going to be crystal clear. The person talking on the other line's going to be crystal clear. If you get a phone call, you can answer it. Everything is going to be a lot clearer. But again, it's just a little bit more tedious because now every time you pull your helmet off, you got to pull these out of your ears. So it really is personal preference. But we, honestly, we use them both. For quick and easy riding around town, the ones that go in um, the helmet, that go behind the padding, are plenty good enough. But if you're, and that way you can pull your helmet on and off, no big deal. But if you're going to go for a longer ride or you want some more clarity and you're not going to be taking your helmet on and off, on and off, then get a pair of these at Walmart, Target, you know, Best Buy, whatever, a couple, you know, five, ten bucks. And you may already have them, you know, if you need something like this. But you want something that goes in your ear. Don't get something that's big old honking sticking out because when you pull the helmet off, it'll pull it out. These actually wedge in there pretty good and stay put. And then the helmet slides right over your head, no big deal. So something to consider. But um, for all intents and purposes, the way it comes is awesome. You're going to really like it. And again, you have all the different boom mics. Um, and you're going to put the sock on it. Obviously, no matter which boom mic you use, you always want to put the wind sock on it to keep the wind noise down for the other person that's listening to you. Uh, you also obviously get chargers with them. Um, you get 12-volt uh, SIG chargers, and you get a uh, wall plug also, so you can plug these into a standard um, USB charger like what you have for your cell phones. Um, another nice thing about this is... Um, you can, like we said, you can answer phone calls, you can make phone calls, it's voice activated, so you can program um, certain phone numbers in there. Obviously, you know, you're riding your bike, you're not going to be like yapping all the time, but it's good to know 
hey, you're on your way home. Somebody says, hey, can you grab something at the store? Or if you're out riding, or, you know, worst case, imagine you're out riding and you get hurt and you're inside of the road. You can just dial up a number, hey, I need help, you know. That's kind of important, you know. You don't want to think about it, but, hey, it could happen. Or if somebody had an emergency and they need to get a hold of you, you know, that's what's really nice about these is that you can always communicate. The Bluetooth can communicate with your cell phone, play your music. A call comes in, it shuts the music down, switches over to the Bluetooth, or you can override with the intercom. I mean, it's just really limitless uh, adjustability on what you can use this thing for. And obviously, to put it on, you know, when you're not using it, you can take it off, charge it, program it, whatever. But to put it on, you just slide it on here, and it clips right on. It's solid. And this button here, when you push this, it'll release it, and that way you can take it off. And um, obviously, if you had multiple helmets and you wanted to, like, really, really slick setup, you could get other bases and then just switch this in between the different helmets. So that's definitely a cool feature. It just makes programming it and fiddling with it and adjusting it, charging it a little easier. Um, also, you know, less cumbersome if you want to throw in a helmet bag or whatever. You don't have that big old hunk of thing. You could just toss it inside. So, But that's the, basically the main features of this. Um, you got your call buttons and your answer buttons. And then, of course, that um, right here is the port for your auxiliary headset. And everything's got nice... Uh, water resistant caps on and everything so obviously if you lift this sitting out in the pouring rain for days and days you might get some water in it but if you get caught in a rainstorm it's not going to just ruin it so that's kind of nice and again all of these parts you see two of everything basically two boom mics two chargers two this two that that's because this is the dual kit again this is for two people two helmets and everything so if you're going to get the single kit for just you so that you can make your own phone calls and have your own music in your headset. And then if your buddies get one, then you can tag up with them. Then you would basically have half of everything. But again, it's a great, great kit. It works awesome. We've been using it um, for a long time. And we have yet to have anybody who's bought one of these have an issue or not like it. I mean, you can just... It's just one of those things where you, you can have no reservation in getting one. And you're going to love it. And what's funny is, you know, for the longest time, we were like, before we got one, we are like, what's, what's the big deal? But having, A, having some music in your head um, headset is, is really nice when you're out riding, like, you know, out in the back roads and stuff. You don't maybe listen to it around town very much because you're trying to pay attention to traffic. But having it out in long roads, you know, long trips, it's really nice to have music. But, man, when you're riding with a buddy, even if it's just one other person, let alone two, three, four, or five, or six, Having the ability to talk to each other while you're riding is just phenomenal. You're, when you think about it, whoever's in the lead is constantly having to look in his rearview mirror to make sure his buddy didn't go off the side of the road, get cut off by a car, or lose him. You know, you're constantly having to look behind you if you actually care that they're okay. But you're always having to look behind you, and you're always having to worry about it and say, oh, they're back there, they're back there. This way you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, God forbid one of you guys goes off the road, especially the one in the back, you can intercom and, hey, guys, you know, or you got to stop for gas or there's a cop coming. Um, there's a dog in the road, sand, watch out in the corner. You can't do that any other way except for an intercom. So it's definitely an awesome thing. But the more people you have, the, more, the better it is because there's four or five, six people riding together. It is, is total pain in the butt for everybody to try to communicate where with this kind of setup, you know, everybody can pop each other when they need to. Hey, let's pull off. Hey, I got to stop for gas, you know. Hey, where did John? Oh, Johnny's going home. Whatever the case is, it's definitely a great thing to have. So, um, and another thing, also, I forgot to mention, you can also, if you have GPS um, uh, feature, uh, you can have that actually go through the intercom system, so you can hear turn by turn GPS, which is also really cool. Because when you're riding a bike, you don't want to be having to look down. It's not like a car where you know it's not a big deal on a bike. You don't want to take your eyes off the road. So, it's definitely a cool feature to have turn by turn GPS. Um, Obviously, you'd have to have a GPS unit, whether it's your phone or whatever, and that will communicate to this Bluetooth. This itself does not actually have GPS built into it, but it can be communicated to it, just like music, just like phone calls, and just like the intercom. So, Again, great product. Um, the company's awesome. 
they make a great product. We've been using it a long time, and it's definitely something that you should really check out. Last but not least, please, if you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you have any other questions or comments or concerns, we are on Facebook, Instagram, forums, um, Twitter, basically just about everywhere. And um, you can give us a call, send us an email, and of course, definitely, if you want, if you're interested in the product, check us out at hardracing.com for more information, and we'll get you taken care of.